Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie and today I'm going to be doing a Valentine's makeup look uh, using all Makeup Revolution products and giving you my first impressions on some of the Revolution products that I haven't tried before and some of my favourite Revolution products. So this is kind of a Valentine's makeup look meets a first impressions video. I hope you guys um, all are doing really well and if you do like this video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have really great Valentine's plans coming up whether it's going out with your friends or going out with a special someone. Um, I hope you have a really great Valentine's Day and I'll get started with the tutorial. So guys to begin with on a clean face I'm going to go in with the Revolution Ultra Face Base Foundation in number 3. It's a BB cream foundation ultra long lasting makeup and that's it says it's suitable for all skin types and it looks like this and it was um two pounds and i got this from a uh, super drug so this is the first impressions i've never tried this before um this foundation i went for number three which was the lighter shade it's got like a little squeezy um like tube style uh, because it is a BB cream, I'm just going in straight to the skin without a primer. Uh, Revolution does do some primers, but I thought as it's a BB cream, it should blend out quite easy. Colour-wise, the number three is actually looking uh, quite yellow undertone, which is good. Um, when I read the description, number three did sound uh, like a yellow undertone, which I always like. Um, they did a few other shades. Um, I think like four or five other shades, so if you've got different skin than myself, you can get a little bit more darker shades in this. So I'm basically not sure how much I should put on, because this is the first time I'm applying it. But I do want to get a good coverage, or as good as you can from a BB cream. So I'm putting on quite a lot. I think that might be, be enough now. Um, so I will blend this out now. I'm going to go in with my Morphe M439 brush. You know guys any of you regulars know how much I love this brush so I'm just going to blend that out so just blending that out um, it does actually come across really 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 quite light um, the number three I'm now thinking maybe I should have went for a darker shade but we can always uh, bronze it up uh, with some uh, bronzer because this is looking very uh, very light in real life. Um, up close, oh my goodness, whoa, okay. This is looking very interesting. I'm going to go in with my dampened uh, beauty blender and see if that makes it look better because with that brush, and guys I love that brush so much um, from Morphe's, it's not looking very good, this foundation. Wow, it's super stripy. It's very, very stripy. Um, okay, the Beauty Blender seems to be working a bit better with that product than, than a brush. So guys, I really recommend if you guys are trying that, um, trying out the Revolution BB Foundation, apply it with a dampened Beauty Blender. That's definitely looking better and more blend it instead of looking like super stripey on my face. Um, guys, uh, now that's been blended out with a beauty blender, it does look better on the skin. The coverage level is pretty light um, and it doesn't look so white now because when I first put it on I was like, whoa, number three is super, super, super white on my face and I was looking quite ghost-like. Now it's been blended out, it gives like quite a, um, it's, it's quite light coverage and it's like not super mattifying. Um, so I feel like if you want really full coverage, this foundation wouldn't be really for you. But if you like a more light coverage and can build up a bit more coverage with your concealer, then this foundation is actually okay. So on to the uh, concealer. I'm trying the Focus and Fix Liquid Concealer in shade... Which shade did I go for? I think I went for shade... Oh, too fair. So I wasn't sure if fair was the lightest or if light was the lightest. So now I'm thinking maybe, because it says number two, this might have been the second uh, middle shade rather than the lightest. So hopefully this is okay. 
again this is a first impressions and I will link below down below in the description bar all of these products and again this is very inexpensive I think it was like maybe uh, two pounds for this concealer okay so first impressions of this again quite yellowy undertone and also quite uh, patchy in application like it's quite not a even consistency it is quite yellow undertone I think I'm gonna blend out one eye at a time because it's very stripy and I'm sort of scared that it'll dry stripy on my face so I'm going to straight in with that beauty blender um, that I use for the foundation to then blend out the concealer so straight away I can see with this concealer that um, it gives a very little bit like just very light coverage doesn't give really full coverage so I'm gonna go in and do the other eye Again, just drawing under the eye in a V. Um, but then this concealer is only £2, so I wasn't really sure what I'd be expecting. But because I do really love Revolution, and if you watch any of my other videos, you know that I do love um, some of their lipsticks. And I love their bronzers, and I have used their other some of their other products. So just so actually doing a full face of Revolution products, as well as giving my first impression on some of the products I hadn't tried before would be quite interesting and maybe find some hidden gems again. So I'm just blending out um, on the rest of the face. I just put a little bit down the nose, on the chin, through the eyebrows. So guys, for bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Baked Bronzer. And you guys know I love this and it's in shade Ready to Go. Love this bronzer. I think this is like three or four pounds. And I'm going to go in with my Morphe E2 brush. And I'm just going to put that on and warm up the cheeks. So we're putting it along the jawline, on the cheeks and a little bit down the neck and we'll bring it on the forehead as well just to bring a little bit of warmth. So that is bronzer done. I'm now going to go in with the little Revolution Iconic Blush Bronze and Brighten palette. You know I love this uh, palette. I used it in my £10 and under makeup tutorial look. I'm going to go in with um, the blush on a Morphe E4 brush. And I'm just going to bring this on the apples of the cheeks. This is a lovely pink shade and gives you a little flush. And I think for a Valentine's makeup look, it's nice to have those sort of rosy little flirty cheeks. And then going in with that same palette, I'm going to take the uh, Sigma F35 highlighting brush. I'm going to go in with that highlighter in the middle shade. And I'm going to bring that on the high points of the cheek just to bring nice lightness and again this isn't a first impression of this product as I love this product and have used it many times before. We're just bringing that on the cupid's bow. So guys for eyebrows I'm going in with the first impression product which is Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow Shaping Kit and I went for a medium to dark and the reason I went for medium to dark I'd read some reviews and people said that the medium to dark wasn't actually that dark and the when I looked online, the light to medium looked a little bit more warm undertone and I prefer a cool undertone. So basically you get, uh, this first time I've open, opening it, um, you get three little powders and then that is a little wax. You get little mini tweezers, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at those little things. Ah, so cute. And then you get a little tiny applicator for the product. Oh my goodness, this is super sweet. Really love this and you get a little mirror in it. And this was like only 2.50. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that lightest shade first so that we can see what the pigment's like and see how it goes. Okay, the lightest one is actually quite dark for blondes. Okay, I'm pretty much probably only going to use that very first lightest shade. It's quite interesting because I read the reviews and people said that if you had very dark hair, this one was actually too fair, but I think Maybe they had really, really dark hair because I think if you've got like even brown hair, this palette would definitely be okay. I think so far of the new products that I've been trying today, um, this has been my favourite, um, this little brow kit. I'm very impressed and very good pigment and really actually easy to apply, which I'm really liking. Okay, that is the eyebrows with just that lighter shade. I'm going to go in with maybe like this... These two shades are really similar, the other two shades, I'm going to go in with the bottom one. It looks like slightly colour tone and I'm just going to, yeah that's a bit darker, okay, I'm just going to go very lightly on the very outer edge, um, the outer part of my brows just to darken those down a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to go in with that wax, I'm going to, just going to go in with the same brush, hoping this is okay. 
Now I'm thinking I hope I haven't destroyed this little brush, but I can always wash it, so that's okay. I'm just going to go in with that wax, and this is just going to make them not look powdery, but even without the wax, actually, they don't look too powdery, and also I imagine this little wax will help keep your brows in place. Okay, guys, that is brows done. Really impressed and really, really shocked at how good that was for the price. Um, for um, eyes, I'm gonna use this Revolution palette, Love the Revolution, and it's called Love the Revolution, and it's Valentine's Day, and it's got this big heart. So you've got like three and three eyeshadows, and then a um, highlighter in the middle. And this is the first time I'm using this, and I really like these colors. I'm actually going to just go in with that highlighter, the big heart highlighter on that brush, just to give this a shot. Even though we've already put on highlighter, we're going to go a bit more. And I'm going to put that on the very, very highest points of the cheek, because it looks like it's a soft lavender colour. Oh, wow, that's lovely. That's really nice. Wow, that's really, really beautiful. So for the eye look, I'm going to keep it inspired from this palette. And since we've got that nice red, we've got some shimmers, so there's like three matte, oh, two... Yeah, two mattes, or maybe one matte, some satins, and then some shimmers on this side. So I'm going to go in with this matte shade, uh, which looks like a cool transition colour. And this is the first time I'm trying this palette, so we'll see how that goes. And I'm just taking this on my Sigma tapered F um, E40 brush. So that's just quite a nice um, crease colour. Um, because that is quite a cool crease colour, I'm going to take a little bit of that bronzer from the Trio palette and just pop that in the crease just to warm it up a little bit. Okay guys, so we're going to go in with this uh, red uh, shade. Um, it's like a pinky, reddy, satin um, colour. It looks quite pigmented on that same Sigma E40 brush. And I'm just going to pop this on the crease and keeping it quite low on the crease so that we're bringing it onto the eyelid as well. So that is the um, eye colour, it's actually really lovely. I'm gonna go in with that same uh, red shade from the eyeshadow palette on an E18 Morphe brush, nice little pencil brush, and we're gonna put this just along the lower lash line. So um, then I'm gonna go in with uh, this middle shade, which is like a sort of light goldy bronze shade and I'm taking that on a Morphe M422 brush and just going to pop this on the eyelid so that we're bringing a little bit of shimmer and sheen and a little bit more glamour. Okay that's a really nice pigment on that. It reminds me actually nearly like the Morphe palettes which have the nice bronzy shades. And then I'm going to go in again with that same brush but using this sort of light pink shimmer shade so that we're keeping the nice red, pinky, valentinesy colour. I'm going to pop that over top where I put the gold so that we're just softening that up and giving dimension. Then with my uh, Pro 15 uh, shadow brush I'm going to go in with this light, uh, sort of light gold uh, creamy colour and I'm going to use this as a brow bone highlight so it's kind of like because uh, it's a first impression, so I'm like going in with like, okay, how much pigment is this going to be? That's actually a pretty good pigment, and I'm going to use that as a inner corner highlight. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe M433 brush, and I'm going to take some of that uh, brown shade, which does have a bit of sparkle, but we're just going to use this in the outer crease, and I'm using this on this um, goat hair uh, brush so that it doesn't pick up too much colour and it, it sort of softly diffuses it so that we get a nice sort of soft smoky eye. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the red and go on top of that uh, with the same brush. And then I'm going to go in with a little eyeliner flat definer brush. I'm going to take that brown shade from the palette and um, just the dark brown shade and we're going to put this along the waterline. So guys, that is the eyes done. I'm really impressed with that eyeshadow palette. Really great pigmentation on it and very easy to blend out. So I'm going to go in with first impression on this Revolution Waterproof Liquid Liner. So it is waterproof, which is good. And it looks like this. And let's see what the little head bit looks like. Oh, that's very, very fine. This is going to be good, I think. So I'm going to go in and do a nice little thin uh, wing liner. So guys, that is the eyeliner done. I'm very impressed with this liner. It was very easy to apply and I've just done a thin little wing liner. 
so for 150 really recommend that. Um, for mascara, I'm going in with the Amazing Volume Revolution Mascara in Shade Black. This is the first time I'm using this, so we will see how this goes. I'll see what the head's like. Okay, so this is what the head looks like. Um, not sure how this is going to be. We will give it a shot and hopefully it makes our lashes nice and voluminous. And it's always good to have nice long lashes and volume for all that eye fluttering when you're on Valentine's Day. Looking seductive. <laughs> So first impression of this mascara is the product, I think you're going to have to build it up quite a lot of times to get the volume. Um, it's quite a thin consistency but it is spreading them out nicely so you aren't getting clumpy lashes which is nice. And it's actually making them look quite long but it's just, it says it's volumizing and I feel like it's not, it's actually quite nice in the lower lashes but it's not really really volumizing, it's more just like normal I would say rather than, it's sort of actually quite just average. So guys that is mascara done. I think actually for £2, I think that was only £2 actually, it's not too bad. So for lipsticks I have the red which is shade Reckless and I also bought the shade the one, I thought that's quite good for Valentine's Day and then the other one is nude, again all kind of Valentine's-y, well Reckless maybe not or maybe. Um, I really like, I think, the red one for Valentine's Day, um, so I will quickly just swatch you the other colours so you can see. These were only like a pound, so here's shade, I'll just swatch you so you can see them all. That's shade Nude, just there, it's a nice nude sort of semi-matte finish. And then this is shade The One, which is also another nude shade, and I'll just pop that beside it. It's super, super similar, uh, but it's a little bit darker. This is a little bit more peachy nude, and this one's a little bit more like skin color. So I'm gonna go in with Reckless um, for this look because it is Valentine's Day. I haven't, had never used these shades, but I have used Reckless before, and if you've ever watched my lip uh, review on Fair and Dark Skin, which I'll link below, you'll see my full thoughts on Reckless and lots of other lipsticks. So guys, that is the uh, lipstick applied. I'm just going to finish off the makeup look with the Revolution Pro Fix Amazing Setting Spray. And this is the first time I'm using this, but this will help uh, your Valentine's Day makeup last all day. So it's sort of hard to give a first impressions. There is a little bit of a scent of it, but it's not like too strong. And this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will definitely say my top picks from my new products that I've tried is the brows uh, product was amazing. The eyeshadows were really great and you guys know that I already love the lip products and the um, blusher and the highlighters. Um, the foundation and the concealer were sort of more average, well, I'd say the foundation was maybe, these two were probably the worst things that I've tried from Revolution, but they weren't awful, but they just weren't amazing, but then for the price, they're only like two pounds. And the mascara was actually okay, and the eyeliner I actually really quite liked. So yeah, I hope you have a really great Valentine's Day, and thanks for watching, do subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!